Pelleron SDI here, and this is a short episode of Voucher Stream. Now, I've unfortunately had to read where the location is, because I was trying to find it there, and apparently it's not actually where we found her, but it's in the Unattended Graves, or Dark Filing Shrine, and there's an illusionary wall, actually, which I kind of feel now awful about, actually. Uh, where am I going? I'm on here, right? Yeah. Uh, there's actually an illusionary wall where we do find her. So, uh, we're gonna go do that and then, um, then I'm gonna see if I have enough souls to buy, buy, uh, the, the whole armor set of, uh, Artorias. Because, of course, we do want the whole set. Now I'm getting disappointed by the game for not giving me uh, the Kiaren set because I want that set too. And I want Gwendolyn set. Where the fuck is the Gwendolyn set? Seriously, game. What the fuck? You get you give me to fight Gwendolyn, but no, the set is not there. Where could it be? I mean, come the fuck on. Seriously though. Seriously. I love the Firekeeper set, it's my favorite set, the Dancers is my second favorite set, but seriously though, where the fuck is the Gwendolyn set? Because we, if we don't know game, we just beaten, there's no point, I'm, there's no point in getting, um, wait, where the fuck am I going, it's here, um, if we kill her, does she die in... That's something I'm willing to test on a different character, not this right now, I'm not going to test it. So apparently it's actually here, and I'm guessing this delusional wall. Yeah. This is a firekeeper. That is a firekeeper. So I'm guessing there's a pre. There was a. F no wait, I, I did say I'm gonna buy. So there was a previous firekeeper. Let's let's read the item. I mean we have to. It's interesting. It's, I'm guessing it's in the keys. Yeah. Oh. A pair of dark eyes said said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper and the light that was lost by all firekeepers to come. It reveals to the slightest firekeepers things that. You should never see. Reveal scores to the sightless firekeeper. Okay, that actually does not sound as a good thing to do, but I'm gonna do it. Need 26,000. Fair enough. Let's see if we can actually arrange that. Um, oh, it's for. Wow, that's actually. Wow, that's a lot. In Lothric, the High Priestess has long been considered one of the three pillars of the King's rule. The High Priestess also serves as the Princess Bat Nurse. Don't tell me she's gonna be a fight. Best. Uh, she's gonna be a boss. I'm guessing she's gonna be a boss. Uh, of course, we're gonna go naked for the honor of putting the whole Artorias set. Uh, where is it? Where's the. Am I losing my mind? No, there it is. Not paying attention because I want to be surprised and actually put the whole set in. <laughs> I love the legs! Oh, that is so funny! Oh, the legs are so funny! Oh. Man, I hate this armor set actually. Wow, it's ugly. Uh, yeah, the legs are fucked up and I don't like this armor set. Now, let me try to change something up. Uh, where's the dancers? Now it's actually decent! Wow, it actually is decent. But no, uh, the firekeeper set way cool. 
I'm sorry I have to say this, but um, I'm sorry. But it's cooler. It's way cooler set. I just love it so much. It's a way cooler set. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go back and uh, let's go back and um, give the eyes to the firekeeper. Let me guess. She's gonna go insane. Oh no! Don't tell me. My firekeeper. Welcome home, sweet. Ashen One has the ice of the grave. Ashen One. Are these, are these your eyes? Are these eyes? Yours, How yes. Gracious of the Ashen One. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Ashen One, my thanks for the eyes thou hast given. But fire keepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. Betrayal? A world without fire. The truth! Ashen One, is this truly thy wish? Of course. I serve thee and will do as thou bidst. This will be our private affair. No one else may know of this. Stay thy path. Find lords to link the fire. And I will blindly tend to the flame. Until the day of thy grand betrayal. Ashen One. The eyes show a world without fire. But tis different to what is seen once in the far distance. Like precious embers left to us by could this be what draws me to this strange passion will kill me and strip these eyes from my person I will return as the firekeeper I once was as it has always been passion one if thine heart should bend kill me and strip these eyes from my person oh I will return as it you know what? This is something I have to admit. I read there's something you have the option to kill the firekeeper if you give her the eyes. So I guess if our heart bends from our great betrayal, we should kill her. But fuck the fire, man! It's an illusion! It's not reality! That's the thing! The fire is a big illusion! <laughs> or, no, uh... I guess it's thing like this. Uh, fire started as a good thing, but uh, you see, a fire is a great thing until it hurts, until it grants power power to the people. Once a thing, now it doesn't even have to be fire, a, any kind of thing, gives power to the people. That's when the world burns and is divided completely. How do I say this? Well, think about it. Uh, throughout history, war first started as a war of resources. Uh, nations didn't want to be controlled by other nations because they had resources that the other nations didn't, so they had to actually compile to their prices, their regulations, their trade agreements, and anything like that. That was a show of power. Also, nations that were conquered also lacked something that the other world had. That was the army. So, it basically meant that if you give humans a thing, someone, some will use that thing to control the others. We can see it everywhere. Media is one thing like that. YouTube, uh, TV, uh, news, newspapers too, books. Anything is possible to make to control other humans. And that's a thing that can be given to one person. That one person can use that thing to control the minds of others. It is very simple. You just need to find what clicks. For Unfortunately, most of the 20th century, it was fear. 
mixed with an economy that actually broke down because of World War One, and then came fear via you know Adolf Hitler and fascists and all that. Except Japan. Japan was a different thing. Japan was the war of resources most. They were afraid of the oil and everything and uh, food. But uh, you know that's why nationalism happened or Nazis happened because of fear. It started with fear and turned into well, what it is to what we classify as Nazis today. And I'm gonna have to say this, I hate to go political on this shit, but Donald Trump does the same thing. Uh, I'm sorry if you hate politics. Uh, you shouldn't, because you're gonna grow up. And the world that your fathers, grandfathers live to you, your parents and grandparents leave you, uh, it's gonna be you to either you know, clean the shit or continue the the normality of the war of the life so I have to say this Donald Trump is using the fear card he is doing something he's using fear as a means to basically manipulate manipulate people to think uh, what I, I personally think I, a human as a social being should not think like we should not be trying to hate others uh, but it has to start. It has to start somewhere. We we are also beings who hate each other. That is true. Human a human hates another human. Um, doesn't matter what way. It doesn't have to be you know uh, the hate we uh, uh, classify hate as we do today. We are racism and you know phobia, homophobia and all like that. No, it can be just like he has something I don't. I hate him because of that. And that is something that actually people control like. Don't try to bug you like that, you know, but some people don't actually cannot control that, you know, and their hatred is actually seen on them, like, oh, you have something I don't have. I fucking hate you. The, you can read it in the face. It doesn't have to say it, you know, the person doesn't have to say it, but you can read it on the person's face. And uh, the fire is the same thing, like, um, the first lords who actually found the souls in the flame became powerful to lead other humans but there's the thing humans in themselves are a curse because they want things humans want power so naturally there was always there will always be a change of power that's why there's always the flame fading and darkness coming meaning it's the end of the first lords here comes the humans you know the second like generate that's called generation who's going to rule then comes the third one and the and it goes like that and that's where Dark Souls 2 comes and says well wait a minute there is no path there is no stop the second generation help the first or help the second stop the first there is none of that it's basically you're here you live there is no path just go forward don't go back don't go to the past, go to the future. Don't cry, you know, cry about things that happened, sure, but do not try to go back and fix them. Try to, to make the future better. That's like where Dark Souls kind of 2 is the best ending of the Souls. Not Bloodborne, Bloodborne is a different story entirely. The Souls series, the Dark Souls 1, 2, and now 3. Dark Souls 2 right now has the best ending. I don't know about Dark Souls 3, because I think it's still the repeat bullshit as the repeating thing. As I think right now, but Dark Souls 2 has the best with the skull of the first sin. Basically, shatters the the illusion of the dark sign. It shatters the illusion of uh, hollowing. Uh, shatter. Now, what do you say? Well, well, that person is hollowing. Well, you have, well, the thing is, it might show the true self. That hollowing might show the person's true identity it's true nature because we all you know people in nature we all have primal instincts and all that and it shows the the nature of it actually and that's why people find it so awful because we do not want other people to see our nature what we actually are in the inside and that's why people say like in the darkest times we actually see what humans truly are what people truly are and that that's the whole thing of the game probably it's like the game uh, you try the the fire is like pushing away the true nature of humans 
while the darkness is the true humanity, the true humans, like what we are truly inside. And it is very interesting if the game actually goes like that. If it doesn't go like that, it's a nice speculation. Anyways, um, we're not gonna kill the firekeeper in the cuts, we're gonna let her extinguish the flame. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I would really appreciate the support. I really hate the Artorias armor because it's awful. It's ugly. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.